when my wife Zara and I took over Gordon Castle, it was a traditional small estate. So it had fishing, farming, and some holiday cottages and some other properties. We realised that was not sustainable, and so we wanted to diversify and launch another business to try and take advantage of the history, the heritage, the architecture, the name, to try and build on that and to secure Gordon Castle for future generations. When we took it over, we were employing about 20 people in the, um, on the estate as a whole. It's now about 65, not all full time, but it's now about 65. So it's, you know, we're nothing like some of the local big businesses, but you know, it's important local um, engagement and, and, and employment. We came across this rather brilliant idea of doing up Gordon Castle to within an inch of its life with a view to renting it out on an exclusive use basis, as I say, on a sort of five or six star basis. And we've been very lucky actually, we, we, we were lucky to have the river and spay and people that want to come fishing here and some high-end clients that want to stay in a very comfortable place to go fishing. So that's the bedrock of who we rent this place to. And then we also have a few weddings here and we've got the facilities here to have mini conferences and things like that. So we've turned the castle into, into the business. Our attention then turned to the wall garden and the hope that we can build a, a global brand around Gordon Castle, this rather magical place, um, because that is, an, that is infinite. You can scale up the brand and so we, have produ we produce about 220 different products at the moment all of which are unique to ourselves. So we have broadly four different product groups. There's food and drink. There is a bath and beauty range. There is a homewares range. And then we have stuff in the garden as well. And that will be the long-term effort to try and keep the roof on the place and indeed keep the name and the estate as, as one. I um, was lucky to have the wherewithal to be able to invest in this diversification. And we also actually got some help from some Scottish agencies, so the SRDP gave us about 8% of the overall amount that we spent up at the Royal Garden. The challenges are ones of time and also just the challenges of everyday life, running people, dealing with the planners. We're running quite a serious business here now and so there are challenges every day. There are two key lessons. One is it's going to take longer than you expect. Two, that it's going to be more expensive than you expect. But what I would say is it's great fun because it's a different challenge every day, whether it be people, whether it be process, whether it be products, or whether it be you know, a launch of a new dynamic bit of the business. So there's a challenge every day, it's good fun, and it's good fun to get up in the mornings with a different challenge.